All right, in this video, we're going to go start to finish on how to set up a report set, which is just one or more reports in a group, and how to set those up to run automatically and get either emailed or printed or saved out to a, to a folder on your network. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, to configure some reports within our report set. There are several in Agitent. Most of them are accounting uh, related, but there are others such as the stock adjustments report and the production whip report and a few others, the on-hand report, that can also be saved into the report sets. Uh, you'll immediately know whether or not the report can be saved. It'll have a save RS or save as report set button at the bottom. To save it as a report set, go ahead and set everything on the screen as you want the report to run. So if there's something that you want to change, make sure that it's changed, make sure all your filters are set appropriately, and then click the Save RS button. You'll be able to give it a name. We're just going to name these Test. You get to pick a form. If you have a default company ID form, that's a good one to pick. And you have some dates that you can pick here. For this, I'm not going to have to fill out anything because it's going to run um, as of the current date. So I just click Save. And let's set up a couple other ones. AR aging report, save our production whip report, and we'll do one more. Unbuild PO receipts. Okay, so we've saved four of these with names, and now we want to configure all of those to run together as one report set. To do that, we're going to go to Maintain System, Report Set Editor. So you can see here that the reports that we saved are down at the bottom. I labeled them all with test. I'm going to add a new report set here. Just give that report set a name, something that's going to make sense to you. And we're going to pick the reports that we want in that report set. You can ignore the printer and email address here. We're going to configure that stuff in the scheduler later. If we go ahead and click Save. You can see that that'll be in the list now. If we pick it, it'll show you what's in there. If you want to go back later and change your report set, you can add things to it. You can take things away from it whatever you need to do. If there's one in here that you decide that you don't need anymore for any reason, you can just select it and click the red X right next to the grid. So now that we've created our report set with those four reports, we're going to schedule them to run. So go to Maintain System, Auto Process Schedule. The first tab is going to be the schedule that we see. We're going to go over to the third tab, which is Add Report Set. We're going to pick up here the report set that we want to run. If you want to have it emailed, you can pick an email address. You can also pick a distribution list. Now, I don't have any distribution list at this time, so let's set one up. So I want to send it to multiple people. So go to the address book, go to distribution lists. We're going to click Add to add a new one. We're going to call this the Test Report Set. We're going to add some new members. So now we have a distribution list with three people on it. 
So we can specify that here. We have to choose which CID we're going to be sending that to, so it makes sure that those people exist in that CID. So there we go, there's our list. Let's click Add, and it'll add in uh, the name that it needs. It's just the distribution list name with a star before it, or asterisk before it. You can also choose a printer if you've set up some printers. You can also tell it this to save out to a folder. Um, there is no pick list here right now, so you have to manually type that in, and that's going to be a UNC path. But once you have that, you can just type it right in here, and it'll save those reports out to a folder, to whatever you've designated here. Make sure your CID is selected at the bottom, and then we're going to schedule it on the right. You can schedule it weekly, monthly, yearly. If you want it to run every day, you just simply tell it that you want on you want it on the weekly tab to run every single day. Let's say in this case we're going to run it at night and we don't really need anything to run on Sunday so we can take that one off. Then you choose which dates it's going to run through so we can run this for let's say the full year. And what time do you want it to run? It's a, especially if you're running anything that has to do with the general ledger, any financial report such as a balance sheet or an income statement, it's a very good idea to make sure your report set is running after your batch runs. I'm going to schedule this for 9 p.m. Just verify that all of this looks correct, and then I'm going to click the Add Event button. It'll cycle through, it'll add those for me, tell me that the schedule has been updated. You'll notice now that if I go over to the schedule, that I can see here there are some that are set to run. These I scheduled um, in the past, and so there's, they're red, meaning that they uh, are past due. They were set to run and for some reason did not run. Uh, the green ones are showing you what is scheduled to, uh, going forward. So today is January 4th, and you can see that uh, we're going to have that test report set that we just configured set up to run tonight at 9 p.m. If you did schedule anything in the past, uh, the next time the service that's running that checks for these things um, next time it runs, it's going to pick all of these up and it's going to run. So in this case, uh, it's going to send three of these out all at the same time. So that's it. Start to finish, how to configure your report sets and set them up to run automatically for you.